Hello, welcome to MuseThemes.com. I put together this short video to give you some tips and tactics to use when working with our parallax scrolling templates. This feature is officially referred to as Motion Scroll by Adobe. It's kind of complex, however, once you take some time to play around with it, you'll start to get a better sense of how the scrolling effects features work. Let's take a look at two of our Motion Scroll templates and how to edit specific elements on each one. The first template we're going to look at is called Slickalax. Now if you scroll down in our preview in Muse, you can see that it has a lot of parallax scrolling elements. Everything's flying in from different angles or different directions at different speeds. If you want to add another element into this site that uses the same effect as one of these boxes, there's an easy way to do that, and it's called the Graphic Styles panel. So of course you could just double click into this text box and change this heading to say whatever you needed. However, let's say we wanted to draw a new text box below and apply the same effect. So I'll just draw a text box and let's just type in this box sample text. And I'll just center that and style it a little bigger so that you can see it. All right, there. Now what we can do to achieve the same effect as the heading above it is if we click on the who we are text and then in our graphic styles panel, create a new graphic style for it by clicking the new button here. You can see that it's created one called style and if we double click on it we can name it something so let's just call it motion scroll and you can see in the style settings box it actually has all of the speeds and settings for the motion scroll effects right in it. So we'll click OK and then we'll click our sample text and apply that same style there. Now the only thing that doesn't apply is the keyframe position. That's this little bar that's sticking up above. If we click on who we are, you can see that the keyframe is up high. And let's just draw a little guide to note where that is. Now if we click our box that we just created, you can see our keyframe is much lower, so let's just drag that up and drop it. Now if we preview the site and scroll down to that area, you can see that our sample text comes in with the exact same orientation and direction and speed as the Who We Are title. So using this graphic styles panel is really helpful for duplicating parallax scrolling effects. Another template I want to look at is the Nightlight template. We get a lot of questions about how we achieve these effects with full background images. If I preview the site, I'll show you what I mean. As we scroll down, you can see these images start to appear and it's almost as if the image stays still and the frame actually scrolls in front of it. There's an easy way to achieve this effect but it's in a different spot than the typical parallax scrolling effects in Muse. So if we jump back to our design view and on our main page here, let's scroll down to that image. Now if we click on this image and we select the effects drop down, you can see that scroll motion isn't even enabled. This is what confuses most people. It's actually in a different spot. If we go over to our fill drop down, you can see now we have fill, which is where we set this background image, but then there's also a scroll effects option on the fill, and that's what's set to achieve this effect. You can see that we've set kind of this vertical scrolling to zero, and what that means is that the image within the fill isn't going to scroll at all, it's going to stay still, and that's how we've created this effect of the frame appearing to move above the image. So in order to create a new image like this, we have two options. You could either do what I just did and actually click on this image and create a new graphic style, or I'll show you how to do one manually. So first, let's just draw a rectangle, and we'll make sure it snaps to each side of the browser. Now I'll get rid of the fill and the stroke, and I'm going to add a fill to it. And let's just select a big image. I've got this barbecue image to use there. Now, if we preview the site at this point, let's have a look and see how it looks. If we scroll down. You can see the barbecue image is there, but it's not doing anything cool. It's not scrolling like the image below. Okay, now let's select that image again and click on the scroll tab. You can see that scroll motion is actually grayed out. We can't select anything. And that's due to the fill setting. So if we go back to fill, and if we go down to the fitting area, we need to select tile vertically. That will give us the ability to apply vertical scrolling effects. 
Now that we've got that selected, we'll go back to the scroll box, turn on motion scroll, and let's just set that speed to zero. Now it's not going to scroll at all. Once that's set, we'll preview the site. And as we scroll down, you can see that the frame kind of scrolls above the image. Now we get to see this barbecue with the burgers on it behind. I think this is a really cool feature. It's just in a different place than you would expect it to be. I hope these tips give you a better sense of how to work with our motion scroll templates and easily duplicate these effects using the graphic styles panel. Thanks so much for your support and good luck with your site. Cheers.